this person could not hold it together at Adobe's conference a couple weeks ago, and potentially for a good reason though. She was looking at a demo of a Gaussian splatting viewer and editor from Adobe called Project New Depths. And basically, Gaussian splatting is of course a type of radiance field that lets you reconstruct really lifelike 3D and is essentially a 3D photo. In the demo, they walk through some of the capabilities of the editor, and because this is a 3D reconstruction, you have total autonomy to move the camera wherever you like. And because it's Gaussian splatting, you can render it natively in real time like pretty across pretty much all devices including smartphones which blows her mind as it should literally it renders in it's it's all it's all rendering in real time the adobe researcher shows a couple scenes ranging from a tractor in a field to a lamppost by his home he shows the lamppost being scaled up and down moving side to side which is awesome a lot of it what they show is pretty par for the course right now in gaussian splatting world except for the ability to manipulate the lamp here this is pretty sick Something. Project New Depths was shown as a series of sneaks, meaning this isn't necessarily a official product that Adobe is committing to releasing, but Adobe is probably one of the biggest potential beneficiaries of radiance field representations like Gaussian splitting, so it's kind of surprising that we haven't seen this already from them. This is of course with the exception of some small appearances in Substance 3D, but anyways, so yeah, if you are interested in trying out a Gaussian splitting viewer and editor that is out, by far the most popular and most powerful one is the open source Super Splat from Play Canvas, and if you're interested in lifelike 3D, I strongly recommend that you follow me because this is what I've been covering for coming up on like four years now, and have been writing about it daily for the last three. So if you're interested and want to like continue to get more information about the world of imaging, which is very rapidly leaving 2D, you should follow me.